Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on Brown Channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nine seven in class again today. How have you been? We are going to show you how to do blanking in um, sofa or how to carry out um, blanking in sofa. You know, sofa BLM helps you to exclude some data points in the visualization. So we have um, some points here. There are some spot height points which we are going to use to plot contours. So we come up to sofa grid data we browse then we no not the boundary we browse we open the spot height now the the points are not well assigned our x is supposed to be east in the y the northern and then the z what's the height right good so we can just decide to finish it up good Let's um, save our report. Good. So now we have what the contour map, or let's say, yeah, the contours plotted. However, what we want is actually the contours that are within a specific boundary. So we have what the coordinates of the boundary. So what blanking does is that it excludes all other contours that are outside what the what the um, the defined boundary now there are different ways of doing blanking you can actually digitize it right on the um, sofa or you import what the coordinates of the boundary now there are some parameters that you can identify you saw five and then you're also seeing one right good now the five represents the number of data points we have here so we're having one two three four five right however we don't have five points we actually have four but we have repeated the coordinate of the first point just to indicate what a closed loop so that's something you need to know if you have one set of coordinates then you are trying to define a point if you have a set of coordinates without repeating your first term coordinate it simply means that's a line or maybe a polyline then if you now have what a set of coordinates whereby the first and the last are the same then you are trying to say that you have what a closed polygon right and then this five indicates that you have a count of one two three four five right now what does this one represent you know we want to blank out some data points that are not needed and when you're using one you're trying to blank out those data points that are outside of your boundary and then when you want to use it when you want to black out blank out those data that are inside or maybe within your boundary you are going to use zero so that's what what that's what the one and the zero represents so what we want to do now is that we want to blank out we want to exclude the data points that are outside what our boundary right good so now we are going to load this spreadsheet on the sofa right now so we come down to yeah open data file so we open up the boundary so we've seen it right here right so we have what our coordinates and we have the length and the flag yeah that's the right word the length indicates the number of um, points and then the flag indicates which part you're blanking out right or assigning a no data value to so what we are now going to do is that we are going to save this as what a blm file so we go to file we go to save as and then under the drop down we select what BLN golden sofa right so we click on that we still call it boundary we save now it's asking us about the export options let's leave it at um, comma okay good so we have actually what saved what the boundary that we want to use to define what the um, the extent we want to blank out so to confirm that let's um, come up to base and load base data you can see boundary open you now see that okay let's come to properties let's um, take out some of these information that um, we don't need good You can see now that we have our polygon inside the contour showing that yes this is the area we want to define or this is the area where the um, topographic survey was carried out right now the next thing is for us to carry out the blanking or assigning the no data value we come up to grids and then we go to what assign and no data now in some versions of software under grids you are going to see the blank 
however in the more maybe in some more recent versions you know some later versions you see blank maybe more recent versions you are going to see um, assign them um, no data right good so we click on what assign no data now it's asking us um, assign no data to grid impute grid now you know we have the two files here right we have the grid which is the contour um sh grid and then we also have what the blm file right good so if they are there we can rightly browse them but since they are we can just um, use the drop down to what locate uh, where they are right good so if they are there let's just um, use the grid here then let's browse to get the blm file remember that this is the blm file right good as a blanking file but let's still browse so you can see it has been added now loaded one polygon one means what inside zero means outside right good so remember that we have indicated one right good so let's um, browse to give it a name let's call this um, blanking then we save that so no data inside no data outside we want to assign what no data outside right and click on ok good so it has been created now we can decide to from the contents let me just pin that there from the contents we can decide we've seen what contours blanking so if we put this out and also put this out we are going to see what the blanked out contours right good now before we leave let us export these contours to autocad and rightly overlay it on the boundary which we already have so we click on what export but before we export it i would like to turn out most of these axes because i already need them good so let me now export as um, dxf so let's call it blanking as well let's call it blanking card good so we have successfully exported it we are going to assess the boundary and the blanked contour on autocad now good so you can see what the blanked out um, contours yeah right good then let's see good we have it on notepad as well so i've repeated the coordinate of the first point copied right copy then come up to autocad choose polyline and then paste it there so you can see that we don't have what contours or contour lines that are outside our boundary you know you would actually appreciate this when you are carrying out a project and you have what a defined boundary and you don't want your contours to extrude outside of your boundary so that you don't start trimming them out um, manually right good so thanks for coming to class we hope um, we have shown you how to load data on so far for contours you know load your boundary data save it as a blm file now assign the new data value to actually get what your blank term let's say to get your your blanked out contour contours that have excluded some data points that term um, you don't need and actually showing you the data points you need export the contours as maybe the excel file you know during the export window you can see other formats but since we want to work on autocad we exported as dxf format we have now imported the excluded or let's say the blanked out contours on um, autocad and we have also plotted our boundary to see how well the overlay right good so thanks for coming to class we hope um, we have provided solution to this particular solving problem we are going to see you on the next one and show you keep staying safe you can also check out them um, so far as um, website for um, better documentation of um, how this um, blanking works have a very good time bye